Name's Kyle Bridgman. This is uh, Ab uh, Abdullah. Hi, I'm Eske. I'm Mark McGee. My name is Marjorie Trong. My name is Eileen. Yusuf Mio. My name is Ketchyanya and I play football. I'm the assistant manager of the Scottish national team. I'm 46 years old. I'm a musician. I study law at the University of Edinburgh. I came here because I have got a job offer as a senior carer. I came from the Philippines. I came to Gathkin High School in 2003. And since then, I'm a full-time mathematics teacher in this department. I count myself really lucky to have sort of experienced, uh, you know, other cultures, you know. I played in Germany, I played in Sweden, played in England, played in Scotland. The mixture and the, the, the concoction that that brings is just uh, beneficial to everyone. I love it in Edinburgh. Absolutely, yeah. I love Scotland because the first time that I arrived here, I, I was based in Helensburgh. I, I love the views, I love the scenery, I love the people walking around with their dogs. I think Scotland is a very welcoming country. Uh, I've met very nice people that have changed my life. I have friends in this particular city, in, in Glasgow, more than I have anywhere else in the whole world, you know. Glasgow is my city, yeah, Glasgow is my city. I, I love Glasgow. Generally speaking, uh, Scottish people um, are tolerant. I think they're um, welcoming. To, to be honest, we, we were we were because we did live in an, an area that was quite dodgy. We were protected. We were kind of kept in a lot. So I didn't experience any racism until I was a teenager. It came in all different forms. I mean, it would sometimes be as simple as going up the corridors, and people would be shouting out like things like. Um, you're, you're a Muslim, go back to your own country. There is, obviously, there is uh, some silly comments sometimes you hear in the street from, from others, probably the word black and this and that, or uh, they use the word uh, Paki sometimes, you know. There were a couple of times, I mean, quite uh, recently, there was um, this lady who just um, randomly yelled at me at a pathway, and um, she just, um, and I was quite terrified by it, uh, really. And um, it was unprovoked. It was shocking. A skinhead guy with a big Mohican. He said, you're white, you man. Right? And I didn't, I never clicked. She just yelled ni hao at me. Um, in Mandarin, it means um, hello. Well, this doesn't, this may sound very innocent, um, but um, I think it was um, the loudness of a voice. It sounded very hostile. It says, oh, don't, nigger mind. Are we black to bed? You'll be all white in the morning. It did make me question a lot more about whether someone who did not look like me would face the same treatment. Mm, Camilla, my daughter, she was probably by the age of 14, 15. You know, I think somebody, you know, maybe they mentioned the word Taliban to her and she was, she was extremely annoyed of that, you know. Definitely remember when I was in sixth year, boy coming up to me and just saying, what's in your rucksack? Um, and kind of laughing and walking away. And I didn't really take too much of it at that time. It was kind of subtle. Fortunately, you know, I haven't really experienced it so much, but just one time when I was playing in Spain for an, for an away game and, you know, you just got the, you just got a few of the crowd, you know, doing a monkey chants and stuff like that. Immigration issue in the UK is, in a way, it's complicated because it keeps on changing. To be honest, my mum and dad, they'd done what they could, but they weren't, eh... Uh, they could only tell you to avoid it. They, they couldn't tell you how to deal with it, because they were first time round as well. My dad um, experienced uh, um, a great deal of racism, I think, it, in, in, his, in his line of work, and it sort of pegged him back from getting promotions and, and, and stuff like that, so, you know, it, that was hard for him. It's understandable. Two black people in a country full of white people, at a time where there was no integration, so they were just frightened. They were just basically scared for their wee kids getting thrown out into a, a place that they're not even comfortable. But if it wasn't for them, though, we wouldn't be sitting where we are now. Because the fact that they came here and put up with that for 20 years, it gave us a chance to grow and integrate and become part of the culture.